Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, okay, sorry. First, couple things. One, I'm kind of being quiet because it's late and I'm in my room and my roommate it might be asleep. Don't know. Um, two, I dyed my hair. A lot of you probably have seen me with dark hair before, but I just did it recently. And this is the first video I've done with my hair dark uh, lately. So, uh, there's that. Thirdly, if y'all are looking for a crazy intense tarantula story about me like getting chased by a tarantula, you're not going to get that because I will be darned if I ever am in a situation where I have been close enough or had a big enough experience with a spider to have a story about it. So no, that is not it. It's more of a metaphorical story. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. Um, when I was younger, my mom was um, one of my fifth grade teachers and I remember one day in class she told us about a tarantula story. And the tarantula story consists of a person driving down a road, they look over to the right and you, they see a car next to them and they see a man and a woman in the car and they just all of a sudden see a man just the man hit the woman just punch her right in the face and of course your first instinct is to be horrified because why is a dude hitting a girl why is he hitting her in the face like you automatically think that this guy is abusive you think that he is hitting his wife or just the woman in the car but what you don't see is from the other angle you can see a big spider on her face a tarantula a deadly tarantula that he is hitting off of her and trying to save her so the moral of that is kind of to try to give people the benefit of the doubt and that's hard to do people that are horrible drivers, that drive on the side of the road, drive down the shoulder trying to get to the exit, people that are a jerk to you at work, people that cut in line, people that just do things that automatically make us feel like they're in the wrong and they're doing it on purpose and they have no regard for anyone else. But really, Think about everyone's tarantula story. Think about what you aren't seeing and what you could be thinking that, or not what you could be thinking, but just what's going on in that person's life. The person driving down the side of the road could be trying to get their wife to a hospital, could be trying to get their kid to a hospital, could be running late for the most important interview of their life. And why not be on that person's side? Why be mad? Yeah chances are chances are they are being being n just not jerks but just not they're not going to a hospital maybe they're just wanting to get out of traffic but that small percentage of a chance that they could have something bigger going on that we don't know about is enough to give them the benefit of the doubt because why not be on everyone's side like why not be on your neighbor's side, on your friend's side, on your enemy's side, like, I would want that. I would want people to give me the benefit of the doubt, even if I'm not necessarily deserving of it. I would want people to give my family. I would want people to just be positive about it, and you'll see that it gives you a chance to be a bigger person, and it gives you a chance to grow within yourself. So. I really wanted to challenge you guys to try to think whenever you feel yourself getting emotionally moved by a situation in a negative way, maybe you can think of somebody's tarantula story and think of what deeper thing could be going on in that story and it might make a difference, it might, might or it might not, but it's just a little way that you can be positive and a little way that you can be on someone's side and I think it can help. It's helped me before. Um, like I said, chances are these people might not be, there might not be a tarantula story. It could just be some guy hitting his wife in a car, but it might be a tarantula story. So.
that is my tarantula story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm sorry for everyone that wanted to hear about um, me getting chased into a school bus by a tarantula or something like that. I don't know. Um, I don't really have many spider stories because I try to steer clear of spiders as much as I can. Um, but yeah, so just try to go out this week and just look through a different lens and it's so hard for me like I am not the best at this but if you just see the good in people and you see the good in situations it can be a tarantula story for a situation it doesn't even have to involve a person um, just seeing it and just giving people and situations and yourself the benefit of the doubt like just see the good in things and see the positive and the benefit in every little thing and it will change how you look at things so just try to do that and I already think that you all are amazing and um, not just for looking at my video but <laughs> just in general so just uh, yeah just go out there and be a light and be a light to yourself and yeah see y'all next week happy Monday bye I didn't like that ending. Bye. <laughs>